Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Liaqat Zaman. Ahla wa sahlan. Welcome to this video, guys. Setting is a bit different today. I hope you guys like this. Let me know if the old setting was good or whether this setting is good. So let's carry on with this then. We are going through the Diwan of Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah ta'ala. Check out all my videos on the Diwan of Shafi'i I've made. I've done some on Al-Mutanabbi and on other poets as well. You can have a look at that. So this point that I've selected is a valuable piece of advice that Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah, he gives to someone who has reached the pinnacle of arrogance in the community. So without delay, let's start with this. Then he says, فَقُلْ لَهُ خَيْرُ مَا اسْتَعْمَلْتَهُ الْحَذَرُ أَحْسَنْتَ ظَنَّكَ بِالْأَيَّامِ إِذْ حَسُنَتْ وَلَمْ تَخَفْ سُوءَ مَا يَأْتِي بِهِ الْقَدَرُ وَسَالَمَتْكَ الْلَّيَالِي فَاغْتَرَرْتَ بِهَا وَعِنْدَ صَفْوِ الْلَّيَالِي يَحْدُثُ الْكَدَرُ He says, I remember this is a point that Imam Shafi is saying to you, someone who is very very arrogant. In fact, the word that he's used over here is taha yatihu. Taha, if from the word yatihu, like in the Quran, if you know where it is in the Quran, put it in the comments below. So, tayh actually means when a person is walking around bewildered, confused, you know, they don't know exactly what's happening. They're, tr they're, they're trying to get to their destination, but they can't find their destination. Someone who's like, imagine a child that's lost in, in, a, in a supermarket and trying to look for the parents, yatihu, going around. So he says, Tahal Uairij. Uairij is from the word Araj. This is what we call a diminutive noun, a Isam um, Tasghir in the Arabic language. So, like you've heard of Rajul and Rujail, but this is Araj and Uairij. Uairij. So, the Uairij Araj is someone who has a limp in the leg. This is actually referring to Uairij, is a smaller version of this, referring to most likely a, a snake, a type of snake. Which which cannot be, uh, you know, you can't save yourself from. This is a kind of snake that will, if it comes in your way, you're probably going to get, you know, bitten by it. So he says, Tahal Uairij. He says this snake kind of figure, snake person, going goes around without a clue of where they're going. Wasta'la bihil bataru. Some version is batar and some version is khatar. So ista'la. Ista'la yasta'li means to assume themselves high up in the sky. To assume themselves superior to everyone else. Ista'la. Yeah. Uh, just like in the Quran. Uh, uh, if you remember, if you know the verse, put in the comment. The word ista'la comes in the Quran with the same meaning as well. And I'll give you a clue. It's to do with what happened in the time of Musa alayhi salam. Wasta'la bihi al-batar. Batar is extreme arrogance. It's when a person sees themselves as haughty, better than everyone else. You know, belittles others. Tahal Uairij, the Uairij, that little snake, goes around bewildered, confused. Wastala bil Batar. Batar has kind of overpowered him, has, you know, got to his head, right? Has got over him, controlling him. So this word is Ta'la bihi with him, Al Batar. And like I said, in some versions, it's actually Al Khatar. He says, Fakullahu khayru mastamaltahul hadaru. Say to this person, the best thing that you have ever used, the best thing for you, the best thing that you will ever apply to your life is al-hadr. Be careful. Protect yourself. Save yourself. Take precautionary measures. Al-hadr. Ista'mala yista'milu is to, to have isti'mal, to use. And hadr means like in the Quran where Allah says, hadr al-maut. Hadr, out of fear of. Precaution. So say to this person, the best thing that you have ever used in your life or the best thing that will ever come handy to you in your situation is al-hadr. Be careful. How long are you going to go around with this arrogant nature, you know, doing all this to the people? Be, be very, very careful. So, is to have, uh, to, to beautify something. Dhannak, your assumption. You have beautified your assumption. In other words, you have taken uh, the, uh, you know, you've given the benefit of doubt to your assumption. You've assumed something and now you have relied your entire life upon this assumption. This is what you call Ahsana al Bil ayyam, ayyam, meaning this came before as well in many poems. 
Ayam in the Arabic language doesn't necessarily mean 24 hour days, it can re refer to periods of time. Right? So, Ahsanta Dhandaka, you have beautified, you have uh, given like, like preponderance and, and, and preference to your assumption, your, you know, your, 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 your uncertain assumption. Bil ayami regarding events that happened in your life, id hasunat, when they were good. Meaning that when you were going through good times, you had a good job, you had a good family, your car was going well, the, the weather was very good, money was coming in. Based upon this, these incidents, based upon these good times, like we say, you assumed that you're better than everyone. You assumed that, you know, you can do anything you want. So a very deep insight Imam Shafi here in this couplet um, is giving the reader or the, or the viewer, which is basically that, look, just because you're going through good times in your life does not mean tomorrow is also going to be good, right? It could all flip. You could actually start to become someone who loses his job, loses his family, loses health. Anything can happen to anyone at any moment because Allah is in control. <laughs> you assume that your assumption was good based on the ayyam, based on the past events. If hasunat, when they were conducive to you and they were beautiful for you. And you were not scared of the evil of مَا يَأْتِي بِالْقَدَرِ Qadr meaning, meaning the divine decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In other words, what Allah's decree had brought, يَأْتِي بِهِ الْقَدَرِ أَتَى بِهِ means to bring. So what the Qadr is about to bring, the, the bad things the Qadr is about to bring, the things that you know are not pleasing to you, like loss of health, loss of life, loss of wealth, etc. These are all what we call the Su'ul Qadr, the types of decree, the aspects of decree in our life that we're not really looking forward to, we don't really want. So, Lam Takhaf, you were not scared of the su of the bad things that were going to come to you from the Qadr, or that were gonna, the Qadr was going to bring to you. Yeah, so, Ya'ti Bihi Al-Qadr. So, Lam Takhaf is actually, you know, from Khafa Ya Khafu, if you don't know that. وَسَالَمَتْ كَالْأَيْ أَلَّيَالِ سَالَمَتْ سَالَمَ يُسَالِمُ is, it means to make a peace treaty. Right, it means to actually go into some sort of like a peace scenario where both sides will not harm one another. Right, okay, like we say a ceasefire, salamu salama, silm, it's from the word silm, salam, peace. So salamat kal layalay, the knights had made peace with you. In other words, you never experienced in the past nights anything bad. Right, so normally when a person is depressed or sad or worried or concerned, night time is probably the worst time for them. That's when they're alone. That's when their you know thoughts take over them. He says it's like the knights. The knights actually shook your hand and made a peace treaty with you. <laughs> from the word gurur, which means to be deceived, to be misled. <laughs> you actually became deceived with the knights. Right, so just like the days going by were very good for you, and you, based on that assumption, thought, right, my life is going to be wonderful. You also didn't realize that just because you haven't experienced bad nights, that the following nights will not be bad. So you became deceived. Saf it means pure, clean, right? So you have al ma safi, like you say, clean water. Safu layali, and at the time of safu layal, the clean nights. Describe the nights as being like, you know, nice fresh water rivers. In the safu layali, yahtuthul kadar is when kadar kadar means like filth and dirt. Dirt occurs, right? Murkiness occurs when there is clean cleanliness. So when you have clean water. Expect to have dirt, dirtiness or dirt falling into it. in the So you see, he's describing the nights as being like rivers and saying, well, all clean rivers at some point in their lives will have dirt thrown into them. So we just be prepared for that. So I think this is a wonderful poem. I just want to go through a few points over here just to show you the, the depth, the Arabic depth of this. So he says, See how he uses this word u'ayrij, a diminutive word, a very nice way the Arabs use words and they use the tasgheer to kind of give a particular type of meaning, right? So this a'raj is a type of snake, but then u'ayrij is like a sly, cheeky, small, little, doesn't even deserve 
to, to be amongst the ranks of, uh, uh, of, of, of even the evil snakes. Yeah, like a little gangster, a little thug. Tahal u'ayrij. Wasta'ala bihi al-khatar. Ista'ala bihi al-khatar. The nice way, or al-batar, the batar is being described, the arrogance, the sheer pure arrogance is like described as one of those, you know, one of those alien films where the alien takes over the human body. It's like the batar has taken him over, has controlled his mind, and he's like going around, and the arrogance is actually controlling everything that he does. Beautifully, you know, um, given a, a very powerful image, you can say. Very powerful image that will actually stay with many of us. Uh, and then, استعملته الحذر. Yeah, like the خير من استعملته فقل له خير من استعملته الحذر. The best thing that you can ever have used. So, utilizing استعمل يستعمل to make use of something as well is a nice Arab way of, you know, using this word. أحسنت ظنك. And this is a nice, also a nice expression that Arabs use. They kind of see the the, the person beautifying something when they give it preference. Right, so in English we would say something like, you know, you kind of, uh, you just based it upon your own judgment, right? You you t you you gave benefit of the doubt to your judgment. So, but the Arabs would use different phrases. One of them is ahsan al dhan yeah. Shaitan ahsan al dhan fi nafsi. Oh, you could say the other way around. Al rajul salih ahsan al dhan fi al miskin. Yeah, he assumed good. About the miskin, he thought good about him. He he had good assumptions about him. Bil ayami id hasunat and ayam is being used here because it could mean a normal day. It can also refer to, uh, you know, ayam as in the events that took place. Hasunat al ayam. The days have been very nice, beautiful. This is a type of majaz in the in balaga. Majaz, um, you know, al aqli where you give like 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 beauty or something. You attribute it to uh, days and nights. ولم تخف سوء ما يأتي به القدر. So it's like the قدر is like a being and it's bringing evil. And it's like you know bringing, dragging the evil to to a person and throwing it on them. Yeah. So it's kind of like again powerful imagery is being created over here in the minds. وسالمتك الليالي. الليالي the nights have سالم have the مسالمة with you, treating the nights as being like an army, and they normally attack the people individuals. Right, over, overpower us at night time. We're, we're not in control. But this time, the layali have been shaking our hands. فَغْتَرَوْتَ behind You were deceived by them. This idea of humans being deceived by, you know, things that happen around them. Normally, you're deceived by other creatures. But this time, you're deceived by nights. You're deceived by the day. And then, this finishing it off beautifully, he says about the water itself, that the nights are described as being like clean water. And that humans should realize and make, take analogy and deductions that in life, when you have situations which are very, very clean, then you are going to come across situations with, where there's dirt. So be prepared for that. And this is the advice that he's giving. And I think this is a beautiful, you know, like I said, uh, poem. Very, very useful to students of knowledge. Definitely, without doubt. Okay, so, a bit of Arabic now. طيب. هنا ذكر الإمام الشافعي رحمه الله نصيحة متوجه إلى رجل غلبه الكبر يعني يعني دخل في الكبر اغتر بنفسه حتى أصبح أنه يظلم على الناس بسبب يعني أحواله وهذه الأحوال التي يعني يأتي على الناس عادة تتناوب فقد يكون الإنسان وأحواله في بيته أو في في عمله أو في صحته تكون حسنة وقد تعكس الأمر ويعني يصبح الإنسان يعني مرمى في الطريق ولا لا يوجد له عمل ولا مال ولا أهل نعم قد يعني ينقلب الأحوال على الإنسان فيذكر الإمام الشافعي رحمه الله أن الإنسان إذا يعني إذا قدر له أن الأيام تكون حسنة فينبغي له أن يعني يحذر من هذا يعني ينبغي له أن يأخذ حذره ويتقي من أن يغتر في في هذا الأمر فيظلم الناس فقد يعني يبتلي الله سبحانه وتعالى إنسان بالمال وبالبنين وبال يعني الأحوال السارة ولكن ليس معنى هذا أن الله سبحانه وتعالى راضيا به نعم ممكن الله سبحانه وتعالى يبتلي الإنسان بالخير والشر 
بل يكون فتنة له فكما أن الإنسان يجد الأنهار الصافية الطيبة خالية من أي كدر ولكن قد يأتي على نفس هذا النهر يعني يوم يعني يكون الماء كدر جزاكم الله خير I hope you guys benefit from this and inshallah I will see you guys next time if you enjoyed this video hit the like button and if you want to see me make more you can hit the like button again and subscribe as well and thank you very much to all my patrons you guys are wonderful people wonderful souls helping my channel it really boosts my uh, morale and motivation to make more videos for you guys assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Jazakum Allah Khair for watching this video. I hope to see all of you guys. If you guys are interested, please leave us feedback, get in contact with us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakum Allah Khair guys for all of your support. Without your support, I wouldn't have been able to produce the videos that I've put up on my YouTube channel. And there is so much more that I really want to do. And without the support of you guys who are patrons, generously supporting this channel i've been able to get myself a camera which as you guys can see the quality of this camera a mic system software i've been able to hire an editor so what do i want to do i want to make lots and lots and lots of more videos for beginners for intermediate advanced in the subjects like arabic and fiqh and hadith and tafsir and aqidah and all those other things as well and for this to happen again this channel needs support so if you guys want to become patrons and support this channel, then check out the link below. Also, if you do become patrons, you'll have access to videos that I don't put up on my normal YouTube channel. So check that out, inshallah. And there's most other perks as well that you guys can uh, benefit from. And if you want to um, access uh, this channel through social media, we've got Twitter, we've got Instagram, Facebook page, and other things as well that you can visit. So Jazakumullah khair again guys. Thank you very much for your support. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.